Hi guys, this is Tigaza in Roblox Studio. I thought I'd do a quick update on my virus checker. I've uh, updated it to, well, kind of updated it to a plugin. And here we go. What we got here is we got, of course, a removal button from when we do a scan and we get some results in this window here. We can also restore everything, but at the moment it's kind of a little bit buggy with uh, the locations and everything else but anyway let's show you it uh, in operation I suppose something fairly small so we're not sitting here all hours on end um, let's have a look let's load up Wally let's load up my car and what else shall we do basically what I'm do going to do is scan through these looking for viruses or anything let's load up that All right hopefully we get a strike All right here we go let's do some scanning start scan All right here we go scanning that's not too bad oh there we go we got a result already so yeah once you get a result we should really finish uh, wait for the scan to finish and then you can, you can either restore it or remove it from the actual uh, quarantine because it gets put into the quarantine. Oh, there's only one in that. Let's do another one. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's do that Gatling gun. Nope. Let's do that power armor. Right. Let's redo it. Yeah, so when you sort of close down the plugin and then reopen it, as you saw, it make it uh, it remembers what it found and it displays it again. The only thing is, you have to re-scan the place to get any more things, which is obvious, which is what I'm doing now. Sure, let's have a look if we've got any more uh, blank objects or viruses. Save the uke. Do, 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 do. Oh wow, look at that lot. Blank objects. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, it's a place cleaner at the same time. Hopefully if I can get this working, I'll be able to show you it restoring it. So We've got workspace, Gatling gun, which is that, handle, and weld. Right, let's restore it. There we go. So we can put it back to where where it was originally it originally was, if we wanted to. Don't know why you want to, but still. <laughs> so yeah. We can either restore it or remove it, which is basically just removing it from the quarantine. We've got a sound object there, which is that one there. Yeah, that's basically what's uh, been printed out there. It's just a bit of referencing, so I know where, what's where and everything else. Right, here we go. Let's remove it. Ping. And there we go. At the moment, I will not release this thing because it's really buggy it's like when we either close down and reopen it it gets reference the every single link location of the object gets reference to the quarantine when it's meant to be located to the original place where it was that's bug i've got to sort out anyway the restore all basically goes through all the objects in this list or in the quarantine doesn't matter which one and it restores them all basically there we go it just restored them all and we got an error there right okay let's close it down and restart it let's re-scan re the place and it should re-add them there we go do, 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 do. come on then you're going to find those things again. 
Yeah, we got all those wound sound. Oh, there we go. So as far as that, it's working. Oh, yeah, there's a bug. That should be in quarantine. <laughs> Cut. Let's move that manually over. Paste. There we go. I think that's a robot thing. Anyway, so yeah. It's basically working as is. So, yay! Perfect. This is what I wanted to do when I first started programming the actual script. Right, let's re remove all of those. There we go. Let's restart, rescan the things. Yeah, that's another bug. There should be a. Uh, oh, that's another one. Showing all the bugs now. <laughs> So yeah, it is rather boogie, boogie, oogie, oogie, yay, <laughs> whatever. Let's see if it will actually put that back in. Do, do, do. Let's see if it reference the quarantine again, like it done last time. Or would it even register it? No, it didn't register it. Okay, whatever. So yeah, that's been my update on my virus checker. As a plugin. And hopefully soon, out of all these bugs ironed out. Yeah, I thought I might to do an update since I've been working on it for about... Must be about 14 hours, not straight mind you. I had a break halfway through. So yeah. <laughs> if you guys want to have a look at the actual code for it, I can actually load that up very quickly. Uh, place one. Here we go. I've still got all the different uh, the database and everything else. Let's close these down. There we go. Got the plugin and everything else. All the different values that I checked through suspicious length which I'm going to do a hopefully do a config uh, part to the plugin where we'll probably have something here saying settings or something so you can change the length of that oh why did I close that down for where are we I'm lost there we go yeah in that script is how I do the uh, the on-screen display. It's just an easy way of doing it. So you've got all the different bit, bits and pieces here that we see on the, on the display. Here we are. The major part of the script that I've changed, I've created a new create result thing. So I can add things into the uh, scrolling window. I'm using a template to clone and then add the new things to it. So yeah, here we go. Look at that coding. <laughs> and I'm trying to keep it under a thousand lines. I think it's going to be over a thousand by the time I finish. So anyway, this has been Tgazza on my update of my uh, virus checker. And I'll catch you guys later.